Hello from Musikmesse 2015. I'm here at the Bastel Instrument booth and you guys have some exciting news, right? Hey, nice to see you, Felix. Let's go through it. Okay, cool. So basically, um, what we are introducing here is uh, new mo modules for Eurorack. Um, we are really excited to, to introduce those. Uh, they are for driving motors. So we have three different models, one from the solenoid motors, one for the servo motors, and one for the DC motors. Um, yeah, basically, when I hit uh, my normal module sequence now, you, you could hear everything now playing acoustically from, uh, from the motors driven by those uh, uh, solenoids. Okay, so what kind, what kind of modules uh, do you have here exactly? Those are all new modules, right? Yes, those three motor modules are new. We are also introducing the sensor module. So the sensor module can take any type of analog sensor based on voltage or resistance and uh, convert and amplify, calibrate the signal to be used as a CV or gate signal. So we, we are using uh, here the lava lamp, uh, we have the water dripping here, so that could be used as a trigger signal or as a master clock, <laughs> for instance. We also have a pulse sensor here. Um, we also have another light sensor with the candle in here. So yeah, <laughs> a lot of fun stuff. Basically, uh, we wanted to uh, have like input from the real world, put it into the modular, and then help have output into the real world as well. So yeah, at the moment we don't, don't have any speaker connected, so all of it is acoustic. Yeah. So it's four modules in total, or wait, the, is it the sensor module, the solenoid module, and two motor modules, right? Yes, three motor modules, one sensor module. So that's sort of like one batch of modules we are introducing here. We have three more uh, to introduce here. Uh, it's the Trinity, CV Trinity. That's uh, like modulation signal source. Uh, it's a six, it has six independent channel. Each one of them can be like very sophisticated LFO or a knob automation or ADSR envelope, which could be also looped, uh, changed to linear, exponential. It's quite deep and yeah. yeah and each, each of those channels has have also CV input, so you can control the LFOs with CV. You can sequence all of them to one clock, very easy to do. A lot of modulation power in this one. And it's based on the Trinity uh, instrument that you brought out, right? Uh, well, yes, um, it's basically just the interface we have here. Then we added the whole, whole another layer to get uh, all, the, all the modular circuitry running. And all, also, yeah, it's not just the Trinity, it's much more complex in, in the hardware. But we really like the interface of the Trinity and we thought it would be great for such module. And when are you going to release the modules? When can people buy them? Uh, later today. <laughs> oh, that early already. Cool. And I heard you have something else um, over there. Yes. So basically what we have here is... Um, that's uh, like a complete system. We are just starting to... We, we are just introducing now. It's called Rumburak and it comes a, a, as you see it. So it's a full self-contained instrument. Um, it comes also like in the carry case. So this, uh, what it's standing on, it's a closing lid also for the transport. You can close it with the patch cables in. And this is how it comes. There is some free space to add another modules. All of it is Eurorack compatible. Wow, that's really cool. And there's the Trinity module as well in there already. Yes. And um, two more modules, which are new, we haven't really talked about. And there are two filters. One of them is the Cinnamon. It's a state variable filter, voltage controlled with resonance. And what's really nice about it are those character switches. So, and they change the character of the resonance. So it can be like very smooth filter in the normal setting, but if you flip the switches, it can get really aggressive and almost like collapse. Also, if you use the third switch for overdriving the input. So that's all analog filters, right? Yes, exactly. And then we have a, a new, another new module, and it's a passive filter. It's three passive high-pass and low-pass filters. 
so if you feed it through it can also be band pass they're fixed frequencies and they are really handy like for instance with our uh, noise module you just put the white noise cut the low frequencies and use it for making hi-hat and because it's passive it doesn't need any electricity so you can just put it in your rack and it's very small and uh, yeah you don't need power it's just put in and play right yes, yes exactly it's very small very complex very handy but there are also disadvantages to is there is of course signal drop because it's passive mm -hmm. sure. yeah yeah, well, that sounds really exciting. You're still offering all the Trinity and the um, uh, Micro Granny modules as well. Um, so that stays in your in your product range, and you're just expanding the modular further and further. How many modules do you have right now on total, like when everything is released like that? 17 at the moment. We have a few more to go this year, but 17 at the Mesa. And so after today, you, everybody can buy all of them. They're all available. And where can they buy them? Do you have distributors or? Uh, at the moment, we have pre-orders running at our shop, Noise Kitchen, Noise.Kitchen. And, uh, but uh, we all already are negotiating with the dealers to have them worldwide. But they won't ship sooner than the ones on the Noise Kitchen. That is just fixed shipping dates that we decided upon to and at those dates we also start to ship to dealers. And one last thing, people on the on internet have been really excited about the wood panels and you already said that it's like some kind of specially coated oak wood. Uh, what exactly is the secret behind it and why doesn't it drop off? So uh, we really spent a couple of months really trying to make it perfect and it's a really solid oak wood. Uh, we did it a lot of uh, sophisticated milling from the backside to make everything perfect match. Uh, it's really solid and uh, we used a uh, really good printing method like UV printing to ma make the printing really durable and also we've experimented with the sealers and it just works fantastic. And how, how thick is the wood? Uh, it's three millimeters, a little bit more than three. But okay, you... so it basically fits with all the other Eurorack modules out there. It's it's hard uh, and it yeah it doesn't bend. Yes, yeah. exactly. And also we have like those uh, knobs, which are also like wood and aluminium combination, and yeah. Uh, they're handmade, all of those are handmade in Czech, so yeah. Oh nice, yeah, that looks really interesting. So yeah, thanks a lot for your time and uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to see more about that uh, Eurorack stuff from you. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Felix, I love your channel. <laughs>